Good evening and welcome to another episode of Elmwood Park Academy PTO meeting. My name is Miss Teresa and I teach kindergarten and these are my kindergarten students. Hi. We want to do something for this amazing season and fall weather that we've been experiencing this past few days. So for this video, we thought maybe we can take you on what we call a little nature walk. And a good thing about nature walk is you can use the opportunity uh, to teach your children, you know, things like the alphabets, um, you can teach them about the science of how uh, nature works. Um, there's so many things you can do. You can even pick up things from the ground and do art projects, which is something we're going to show you as we take you on our little nature walk together. All right, boys and girls, are you ready to go on a little fall nature walk? Yeah! Okay, so let's walk this way, boys and girls. Okay. And Pay attention to how beautiful and lovely our weather is. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. cold. It is just beautiful. And, just beautiful. and as we go on this Elmwood Park Academy nature walk, let's walk, you see right here we have our lovely what boys and girls? Pool. The pool. Let's see who knows what pool start with. Pa, pa, pool. P. All right, let's go guys. So mom and dad at home, a nature walk is a good way to ask your children uh, things about alphabets, you know, like a uh, question like we just did with the pool. And let's see if they know about the grass. Everybody look at your feet. What do we see on our feet? Grass. grass. What does grass start with? How do you know that? Gra, ga, ga. Grass, very good. Let's see what else we can find here at Elmwood Park Academy Nature Walk. I can see something. Oh, guys, look at that green slide we have here. What does slide start with? Slide. Sa, sa, slide. Very good. Let's see. Look at the ground, guys. Let's see what we find. Oh, look what Miss Teresa found on the ground. See, Nature Walk, we can just go and look at things on top, cone. on the ground. Oh, yes. This is a pine cone. I got a pine cone. pine cone. All right. Well, let me ask you guys. What does pine cone start with? P. P. But, but guess what, guys? This is an ugly pine cone. What does ugly start with? Uh, uh, ugly. It's a U. All right, let's go. How about this? We're gonna, let's collect all the pine cone and see what we can do with the pine cone. Very nice, Carson. So we had a really nice time on our nature walk just like a few minutes ago and the kids were able to collect things and we thought mm, maybe we can do something cool with it like some kind of art project now it is a short moment so we won't have um the art project ready for this video but maybe we can take pictures of them when we're done and put it on beehively so you can see what we did with the things we found on our nature walk uh, they saw lots of birds and uh, bugs and, you know, just lots of fun stuff. It's so beautiful outside. This is a very good way for us to spend time with our children, especially during this awesome, awesome autumn weather. So let's see what they collected. Boys and girls, you're ready to show us what you collected? Yeah! All right, let's raise it up. I got weed. I got this. So, as you can see, they collected lots of pine cones, and it's just so happened. It's just so happened there's a pine cone craft that I saw online the other day, and I think we will try to make them. So, what you will need is first of all, a pine cone, a nice size pine cone. This is actually bigger than I would like it to be. Let me see. Oh, I see Riley have a really nice size one. Come on, Riley, come show us your nice size pine cone. It's good to find different size of pine cone, but trust me, 
this around this size is going to be easier uh, to cut and manipulate with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this pine cone into flowers. The flowers we're going to hot glue onto a stick that Adam found. Come on, Adam, come show us your stick. Adam with his stick. Wow. Look at the big stick Adam found. Now, of course, we can trim this stick. We can find more of these sticks. And what we're going to do is we're gonna turn those pine cones into flowers and we're going to hot glue on these sticks. So please stay tuned uh, to see our final result. You will also need pliers. This is an old fuddy-duddy fly pliers I found here at the school, but if you have better ones at home, it will work much better. You can also use scissor, and this is used to cut off the little, um, the little, I don't know what they call it, but the little part of these uh, pine cone. You're going to end up cutting it to look like this. Okay, so um, we're going to paint this, turn it into flowers, and then we're going to glue it to the stick to uh, put in a vase. And when you collect so many of them and put it all together, it's going to look like a lovely uh, flower vase. All right? Okay, I'm back at my desk and the students are working very diligently on their sight word worksheet. While they're working diligently, I'm going to show you how I turn this pine cone into this piece. Okay, so I first I use my scissor and then right in the middle, I start snipping, start snipping off those little, I don't know, the pine area part. I don't know what they call it. But I'm gonna start and cut out all of those pieces in that same area. And I'm going to go around and around until the middle of the pine coat is semi-naked. Not fully naked, but semi. So I'm gonna just keep on going using the scissor. Now I saw online that if you have a nice uh, pair of plier that will snip at the same time, that they will work better, but I only have whatever I have here at the school. And if you have a Manny, that's what I call my husband, a Manny, then we can you can use his muscles to help with um, cutting and it will make it easier. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask Mr. Nick, my husband, to cut the rest of the pine cones out tonight so that we can have this art project uh, for Friday. And I think the kids will really enjoy this. And like I say, this is a great way for you to spend time with your children without them having to go on the iPad, without them just watching television or, you know, it's just something different to do with children because children really need to be more active. Um, they're not as active as we were when we were growing up. And this is a great fall activity to do it. So I'm gonna turn off the video and Finish cutting off the middle, and as you can see, it's starting to become more bare in the middle. And uh, once I'm done with making it bare, I'm gonna use this plier right here. And this is why I say to try and find smaller pine cone, because the bigger pine cones are harder to cut through with the plier. This was a big pine cone, and Miss Bongard actually helped me with that. But the smaller one is easier and you can uh, get more success out of it. See, I did this one myself. So I will turn off the video and I'm gonna finish cutting this and then I'm gonna show you what I will do with it next. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this paint and these are acrylic paint and then I'm gonna paint this into a flower. After I finish painting this into a flower, like I said before, I will hot glue it onto the branch that Adam had found. So, um, I'm gonna start with the yellow for the bud. And of course, we all know the bud is inside. And this is great, great, great activity to do with your child at home, especially on the weekend or with Thanksgiving uh, coming up and the holiday coming up. That would be also a uh, great time to do it. So I'm gonna finish painting this 
show it to you guys and hot glue it on, uh, hot glue a few of them on the uh, stick that Adam found, okay? Thank you. All right, Paris, I hope you guys enjoy a little PTO meeting uh, about fall, things you can do with your children uh, during this beautiful weather that we have right now. And I hope you guys try out the craft and enjoy that as well. Thank you so much for being here with us. Everybody say bye. bye.